Alright, let's see here. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, last time, thanks to my uh, genius here, we got the knife ending. Which is not at all what I was aiming for. I was aiming for the, uh, the safe ending. And so that's what we're going to try and get this time. I thought we were finished with that topic. Let's see. Um, yeah, you know what? Give me just a second here. Uh, no, that's not what I wanted. Wanted that. Let's move you there. No, I did not click that. Minimize you. Minimize you. Minimize you. There. That, uh, that works. Alright, so let's just skip all this dialogue. There's gonna be a lot of dialogue skipping in this one. Which means I'm actually going to be able to talk for once. And as usual, the answer is four. So, in order to reach the safe ending, uh, you first off cannot skip around using the flowchart, which is most unfortunate, but you have to start by picking the number five door. And, of course, the number five door is the one that contains the remnants of the ninth man. As we can kind of see. Yes. Also, hello, Nova. How are you doing tonight? Alright, so this puzzle is still fresh in my mind, because didn't I do it like yesterday? Yeah, I think it was yesterday, but whatever. It doesn't really matter when I did it. Um, point is, I still kind of remember how to do stuff. Oh, uh, yeah, I... See, I don't know... Uh, Shawshank Redemption, so... So, yeah. Alright, so... Oh, okay. Yeah, that too. I just didn't catch that. Alright, so get the fangs. Click with absolute precision. Still pissed off about that. Okay, so there's that. Oh, I forgot a score over on the bed. Mm. Alright, let's see. There is one here. Hey, 
Seven, what the hell was that? Are you all right? Okay, um... Yeah, now I need to remember where the other ones are. <laughs> oh yeah, I think there's... No. I think there's one in here. Yep. Yeah. Now, let me try back in here. Yeah, had a feeling. All right, so let's see. Three, four, one. Three. Oh, crap. Yeah, I messed up. Uh, one, three, two. One. Two, one, three, four, four. Two. What? Oh. Never mind, I, I, I see. God damn it. Okay, two, one, three, four, four, three, two, one. Before we do, let's just go ahead and look at the safe again. So, uh, I kind of mentioned this on Twitter, but just to... Oh, great, I have to do this one again. But yeah, just to kind of reiterate, I guess. Um, the goal here is to... is to, like, finish this game, then focus between... Oh, I didn't think that was actually a playing card. Um... Come on, I think there's another one to get. Maybe not. Okay, um, but yeah, the goal is to finish this game, then kind of focus on XCOM and get back into Final Fantasy VI. Come on. Okay, I had to click up there. 
Let's see, Clover Diamond Heart. But yeah, um, I, I keep on getting hella distracted. Yay! I, I, I like how it still showed the uh, dialogue for that. Uh, oh, I have to hit that first. But yeah, uh, after this, focus on XCOM, focus on Final Fantasy VI, and hopefully I'll have those two done at, uh, at some point before the end of the month, because there's a, uh, oh, there we go, let's see, two, three, four, that's what I need. Oh, I can skip this dialogue. Thank God. Less clicking. But yeah, there's a Pokemon fan game coming out at, uh... At the end of the month, and so I'd like to play that, kind of get back into Pokemon, which is where I'm sure most of my followers and stuff have come from. Um, yeah, shut up, Junpei. But yeah, just get back into Pokemon, and, uh... Yeah, then, um... Where am I going? Okay, over here. Uh, which card did I put in here again? Okay, it was, it was eight. Yeah, get back into Pokemon. Um, and then there's a couple other games that I would like to do too. One is, uh... Dark Souls Remastered, since I got gifted that during the uh, Steam sale. I figured that would be fun to play. Oh, okay. For some reason, I thought I needed to grab the Ace card. Yeah, that would be a blind playthrough, which, uh... I I'm sure those are overdone, but... Still, it ought to be fun nonetheless. And let's see. What else? Oh yeah. A um a JRPG by the name of Hyperdimension Neptunia Rebirth One. Which is just a bit of a mouthful to say, but uh could be worse. But yeah, it's just this goofy RPG that doesn't really take itself seriously at all. It, it, it's kind of great. So yeah, I'd like to get into that series. Um, and yeah, I think that's pretty much all I have to say on the matter. Like, in terms of what else I'm going to be doing in the future. Yeah, we're slowly approaching picking our next door, which is going to be door number eight. We just have to fart around for a bit first.
All right, uh, so yeah, I apologize for having to go through all this again, but that's what I get for being impatient, I guess. I mean, I could have just done this off screen, I suppose, but I thought I read something about there being like new dialogue that I need to see, so I figured might as well just get that on stream. Just cause. I'd like to be as thorough as possible. Oh, I hadn't thought of that. Oh, oopsies. Okay, let's go. Okay, all done. Sure, let's say she's right. I really don't know. I I I. I I can't really pay attention. I mean, the text is going so fast. So, yeah, Ace is just taking a nap for some reason. Don't really know why, but... Anyway, um, yeah, door number eight. And so I think this is going to bring us to the laboratory, so it's been a while since we've been there. It'll at least be... Well, no, I can't say it'll be something different, but... Y you know, it's at least been a while since we've been to the laboratory. Okay, let's see. What is the first thing that I need to do? Right, get the ethanol to clear the uh, Uh, yeah, that, that, that's basically the plan. Yeah, I forgot about the console wars part. Just, uh... Oh, come on. I guess I have to do this first. Yeah, I forgot to mention it's like a, a console wars thing. Like, there's... Like, personifications of the... Major game consoles. And, like I said though, it's just... It, it, it's a goofy game. Um... Oh, okay, that. Right. So, let's see. Go ahead and use the power cable, except we can't. Okay, uh... Uh, 
Oh, we have to do the ethanol first, I guess. Um, where the heck was the cloth? Where is that stupid cloth? <sighs> um, don't tell me it was in here. Oh, of course it was. At least I remembered before taking too long. Alright, got all that. Let me just review the file screen. One, two, three, four. Right. Oh, yeah, I have to, uh, combine. And now we can do this. Oh, that worked. What? And now uh, Lotus does her hacker magic stuff. do you have? What are you? I'm unemployed at the moment. I used to work for a cybersecurity firm. Quit. Huh. Interesting. We're getting different dialogue. Why? Huh? Oh. Um. It was just something. I see. Hmm. Oh. Uh, what are you doing now? I'm going to try and brute force it. Brute what? A brute force attack is... Well, the short version is that I just attack the thing head on. The long version? A brute force attack is one of the simplest ways to break a cipher. It checks every possible combination until it finds the right one. For a complex cipher, it can take a very long time. I'm writing a program that would run an attack like that on its own. It's not the most elegant solution, certainly. But given the circumstances, there isn't much else I can do. Oh, oh but back to what we were talking about earlier. What were we talking about? The wireless display? It's kind of strange if you think about it, isn't it? Hmm. <laughs> How do I put it? Well, let's say you write a program that calculates an addition problem for you. All right? So you enter one plus one. The screen will show you two. See? Isn't that strange? Uh, no. Not really. Oh, come on now. Of course a caveman like you would think it's strange. You said so just a minute ago. Hmm? <laughs> You're just not getting it, are you? Who calculated one plus one? The, uh, the, the main computer, right? You said it connected to the monitor wirelessly. Yeah, but someone who grew up in a cave wouldn't know that, right? They'd probably think that this thing here, the monitor, was doing the calculating. But then once they've decided that, they'll start examining this monitor. They might poke the screen or something. Ah, I see the color changes when I press it here. Then they might investigate the hardware on the inside. Oh, I see. So this wire supplies the power. Eventually, they might even cut the wires. Ah, yes. Just as I expected. When this wire is cut, no results appear. Therefore, it must be this device which does the calculations. Oh. But the truth is that, just like you said, the computer is doing the calculating. But these cave people wouldn't know that. Because they have no idea that the monitor and the computer are connected wirelessly. So, uh, what are you trying to say? Nothing. Really. <laughs> well, thanks. It's just... I thought, maybe, 
But what if the relationship between human beings and our brains is like that? Huh? Well, let's say you stick a bunch of electrodes into parts of the brain. A scientist examining the signals they send out might say, Hmm, interesting. So stimulating this part of the brain causes the person to see colors. That must mean this neuron cluster controls that function. Okay, let's see what happens when I cut out this part. Ah, just what I thought. Cutting off this part causes that function to cease. Therefore, human thought processes must occur in the human brain. See? Doesn't it sound the same? Hmm, yeah. Maybe the brain is just an output device, like this monitor. Maybe our thought processes actually occur somewhere else, in a main body. We just don't know it. We never even think about it. This is getting slightly trippy. Just like those cave people wouldn't know about wireless communications. We can't imagine that there's some unknown medium that transfers information into our brains, where we experience that information as thoughts. Uh, the brain is just an output device. Human thought actually occurs somewhere else. <laughs> that's just crazy talk. Maybe that's the cause of Seven's amnesia. If memory is actually stored somewhere else, in some sort of main body somewhere, maybe he hasn't forgotten anything at all. He's just having a difficult time accessing his memories because the monitor, his brain, has been damaged. Huh. And I suppose that would explain aphasia and blindsight, too. Perhaps they actually can't speak or see. The monitor just isn't functioning properly. Hmm. I guess people with prosopagnosia could be suffering from the same thing. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Prosopagnosia? What? What? You've never heard of prosopagnosia? <laughs> Certainly a mouthful to say. No. What is it? Well, put simply, it means a condition where the mind can't distinguish between human faces. In other words, my face would look the same as Clover's or even yours. So they can't remember faces, which is how most people recognize each other. That means that people with prosopagnosia have trouble recognizing even people they're close to. Usually they can make do by associating people with other things. Their voices, their clothes, their hair. Does that mean other people's faces look like... blanks? No. No, I don't think so. Well, you've seen monkeys, like in a zoo, right? To you and me, all the monkey faces look the same. Even though they've obviously got faces. It's almost impossible for a human to distinguish between them. I like how looking at a safe caused all this dialogue to happen. The zoo staff that works with them will learn to identify different monkeys eventually. But you or I couldn't, unless one had a scar or something else to set it apart. But that's how people would be with someone with prosopagnosia. Prosopagnosia? Huh. I didn't even know that kind of thing existed. And, um, uh, what were we talking about? The idea <laughs> that your brain is just an output device, like a monitor. Are you serious about that stuff? Not really. I was just kidding for about half of it. What about the other half? Well, I guess I was just adulting. Mm. Hmm. Not funny. <laughs> it's nothing more than a story I made up out of boredom. Take it seriously. It was the first thing that came to mind, and I just talked about it to kill time. But, looks like I don't need to talk anymore. Why? I don't have to kill time any longer. Oh, then you finished that brute whatever thing? I certainly did. And let's see what we got. <laughs> Piece of cake. Can I skip now? No. The screen changed again. What the hell is that? No idea. Looks like a puzzle. Huh? Uh, aren't you gonna, I don't know, do more computer stuff? No, I can't do anymore. It won't let me do any more programming. See? The keyboard. Nothing. So, there's nothing more I can do. Um... Well, I guess I'll leave this to you then, Junpei. What? Let me take a break, alright? I did my part. Yeah, uh, well, I guess you're right. Thanks, Lotus. No problem. Make sure you know when you should thank people. Now, I better take care of this myself. No more relying on anyone else.
Okay, so we got the active. Oh, come on. Oh God, more new dialogue. Junpei, you went into door five with my brother, right? Did you hear him say like anything weird? Huh? Well, let me think. Sorry, Clover. I can't really think of anything. I mean, he did mention that his hearing exceeds that of a regular person or something like that, but that's about it. Okay. Uh, hey, uh, wait a minute. Hmm? Look, I, I don't know if I should ask you things, but if you don't mind, I, I was hoping you could tell me if... Uh, is Snake, uh, I mean, was he born... You're talking about his eyes? Yeah. No, he wasn't born blind. When he was a kid, he got in an accident. A really bad car accident. He couldn't see after that. And his arm... Oh, because I know Clover was talking before about, like, his left arm being something. So, it must have been because of the accident here. His arm? Yeah. My brother's left arm is, um, it's not like a normal person's arm. It's fake. It's not a real arm. The accident hurt him really bad. To save him, they to cut off his arm. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Is that all you wanted to ask me? Look, I'm, I, I'm sorry for making you talk about all that painful stuff. It's not that. Okay. Now we can actually get back to things. Okay, there's two, no, three puzzles down, and I think two more to go. Thank God we got out of there. Yeah, two more to go. Yeah, finally. 